Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem insert an element at the bottom of the stack. So basically the problem says that we will be given a stack which will be of uh, n consisting of n integers and will be given another element x and our job is to insert the element x at the bottom of the stack and everywhere in this problem the bottom most element of the stack is shown while printing. So basically if you will see here suppose that we have got the n value as 5. So suppose that initially we had 5 elements inside the stack already and you can see that x value is 2. So the element that we want to insert is 2. Now in this stack if you will see so it says that everywhere in this problem the bottom most element of the stack is shown first while printing the stack. So basically what happens is if you will see so first of all in this stack Assuming that the front element is the bottom element, so we'll have 4, then we'll have 3, then we have uh, been given 2, and then we have been given 1, and then we have been given 8. So this is how the original stack looks like as of now, and uh, since we have to insert this particular element with the value as 2, so we have to insert it here, below this 4. So what we can do here is, it's very easy, what we can do here is we can create another temporary stack. Okay, and we can insert all the elements of the original stack inside the temporary stack until the stack is empty. So what you do is if firstly we will take out the uh, top element that is 8, we'll do this process until the original stack is not empty. So we have taken out 8, then you take out uh, the next top element. So that is 1 and pop it out. Then you push the next element uh, that is 2 inside the temporary stack and pop it out of the original stack. Then again you pop out the element 3 from the top and insert it inside the temporary stack and then you take out another element that is 4 and insert it inside the temporary stack. Once this part is done, then you can see that the original stack is empty. Once the original stack is empty, then whatever is the element that we wanted to insert, push it inside the stack. And then after this, one by one, we will take out the elements uh, from the uh, temporary stack and we will insert, ins insert it inside the original stack. So the front element of this temp is 4, so we take out 4 and insert it. Then uh, front or you can say top element because basically instead of front, you have a top uh, function inside stack in order to access the top elements. So then next top element is 3. Then in the temp, the next top element is 2. So you push it and pop it out of the temp. Then after that, the next top element is 1. Insert it uh, inside the original stack. And then the next top element is 8. Push it. And then the temporary stack becomes empty. And you can see that the original stack was 4, 3, 2, 1 and 8. And now we are able to insert the element x that is x is equal to 2 at the bottom of the stack. So by using the concept of two stacks that that is by using the concept of a temporary stack we were able to solve this problem. Now if you will see what will be the time complexity. So the time complexity will be order of n. Why? Because we have taken out n elements from the original stack and pushed it inside the temporary stack right and then again order of n because after inserting the element x in the original stack we have again inserted all the n elements from the temporary stack to the original stack so this overall takes order of n time only talking about the space complexity of our approach so it will be also order of n because in the worst case n elements are getting stored inside the temporary stack as well okay so i hope that this particular thing is clear now there is one more thing that Suppose if the original stack is empty in the very starting, if the original stack size is 0, then in that case you just need to insert the element x and then you can return the stack directly. So let's try and quickly implement this in terms of code and see how we can solve this particular problem. So what we will do here is, we will uh, first of all declare a temporary stack. So let's name it as a stack uh, int and then temp. Then after this what we will uh, check is before declaring the temporary stack we need to check that if the stack size suppose is equal to 0 if the original stack that is given to you if it size is 0 then you can say that you just need to insert or you just need to push the element x at the bottom and then you can return the stack because if there was nothing initially so you just needed to insert x at the bottom and then you just return the stack after updating it otherwise you need to declare a temporary stack and then will iterate while the original stack size uh, is greater than zero so while the original stack is having some elements we'll take them out and then the current element will be what it will be nothing but st dot top so we have taken out the top element and then what we will do is we'll pop out the top element and then uh, this particular uh, current element will push it 
inside our temporary stack. So one by one, what will happen is all the elements of the original stack will get inserted inside the temporary stack. And once that is done, then our original stack will become empty. So we will push the element X at the bottom of the original stack. Once this is done, then now we need to fill all the elements from the temporary stack inside the original stack. So what we will do is we'll say that while the temporary stack size is greater than zero. So while it has got some elements, so we will take out the current element uh, from the temporary stack. So we'll write temp.top and then we'll pop it out from the temporary stack. So we'll write temp.pop here. And once this is done, then what we will do is uh, we will push this particular current element inside the original stack and after this so basically what happened was we first of all made the original stack empty and in, uh, and pushed all the elements transferred all the elements of the original stack to the new temporary stack and then we inserted the element x at the bottom of the original stack and then after that again all the elements from the top of the temporary stack one by one we are inserting in the original stack so this is how uh, the elements will get restored and at the bottom a new element x has been also stored so now after this is done so we can simply return the stack here. So let's try and quickly run this code to check if it is working fine on the samples or not. So yes, you can see that it is working fine on the samples. Now let's try and submit this and check if the code is getting accepted or not. So you can clearly see that our code was able to pass all the 1120 test cases. I hope that you have understood the approach and the intuition for this problem clearly. If you did, so make sure to comment understood or plus one in the chat. Thank you for watching this video and keep coding.